Yeah. Now, Mel, if I can ask you another question, um, do you have any tips on releasing emotions to help reduce frustration or stress? We've been talking a lot about stress, uh, spe uh, especially in your business. Yes, I do. Um, probably the, the first thing I would say is, you know, see a coach or go to a naturopath or get professional help or support because that's what really helped me and I saw lots of different practitioners and acupuncture but at the moment yeah. because of COVID some of those things we can't do at the moment yeah. so I've created three tips that we can do at home yep. just by ourselves so that we don't actually need to go to um, somebody at the moment although you could have coaching over the phone so the yes. first thing that I um, do when I'm feeling a bit frustrated or a bit Stress or just I get a funny feeling I think oh, I don't know something's off mm -hmm. is I need to release it and I'm a physical person and you know yep. traditionally some people might go to the gym or something but I will put on a song and I will dance and so what we do in some of our workshops is we shake it off with Taylor Swift Ooh. and it's really fun obviously but in nature and I think as humans we've forgotten this in nature if an animal gets attacked by a predator yes. let's say a deer and they manage to escape and get away, then that deer actually shakes off their fear and shakes off what they've just gone and experienced. Five minutes later, they're grazing and eating again. And as humans, we don't do that. So we put on Taylor Swift and we shake it, shake it, shake it. And that releases stuff from the body. Oh, lovely. So fun. So I've done that with the kids. I've done that yep. with the adults. Or sometimes we've actually had a temper tantrum. Uh, and you know, you've got adults to do this and kids to do it, yep. and the older kids. And I say, you know, we probably have to do this in private yep. because it's not acceptable <laughs> after you're three to have a terrible tantrum. Um, <laughs> and you'll see it on my Facebook page. I'm, oh. <laughs> I, I do sound as well because yes. for me, I need to release it from my throat chakra. Yes. So, and really releasing it. But, you know, that's something we can do in the confines of our own home. If yeah. you're in the car, then I will release it either through singing or chanting or just, ah, and I yes. won't do it now because I don't want to hurt anyone's ears. <laughs> but, that, but that's the sort of thing. So I need to do something physical and I need to do something vocal to really help shift it through my body. So that's the one tip I'd recommend everybody can do at home. Yes. The second thing is have a bath. Now, a lot of people do say, oh yeah, have a bath, it relaxes you. But I didn't realize until I learned that actually, if you have a bath, it actually raises your temperature slightly. Mm. And when your temperature is raised, your body thinks, oh, something's happening. Maybe there's a virus or maybe you've got a fever. So yeah. what it will do is start to work and it will start to release the toxins from your body. Mm. and your immune system kicks in and everything starts working and I didn't realize that until I learned that and I went oh wow because I, I used to find it difficult to have a bath I used to get a little bit bored or just right. oh. but now knowing that process that it's actually helping me to release toxins because I would yes. get a little bit lightheaded yep um, and that's why because the body is processing things out of the body that's right. So that's a great way to, to really release. And when I'm having a bath, I also add magnesium salts as well. Yes. Because our yeah. skin can absorb so many things. Absolutely. So I, I do take magnesium um, powder morning and night because stress depletes, as you know, depletes our magnesium store. Mm. But then also topping it up with a, a cup or two of magnesium in the bath is just great. Yeah. Um, and then just trying to just relax as well in the bath so it's not just that relaxing but it's the internal body is working on releasing the toxins as well so that's oh, cool. i wish i can have a bath at home we only you have can. a shower oh. <laughs> and oh. our um our bathroom is only two by three meters and it fits four people <laughs> And unfortunately, at the moment, you can't go to Five Dock because they've got the um, float tank oh, from yes, Five Dock, yes. which is another great way of, you know, detoxing right, the float yes. tank, but we can't Floating. go to that at the moment. That's right. Yeah. Sure. And what's your number three tip? Number three is breathing exercise. Um, and, you know, again, we're always taught about breathing to help um, with our stress levels or be in present time. Yes. And this one was really interesting because my dad is a, a smoker and he's been a smoker for years and years. 
And he would say, but it relaxes me. And I'm thinking, mm. how can nicotine relax you? That's ridiculous. But what relaxes him is the deep breathing. So he's breathing in. Mm. Yeah. And he's breathing out. So he's breathing in through his nose, which is yeah. for us, and he's breathing out through his mouth. That's why it relaxes us. So oh, that really. I never thought of that about smoking. I didn't. Not saying that's a benefit, but now yeah. I understand why it relaxes him. Yes. So, you know, and also maybe people giving up smoking, maybe they can get a, a straw and breathe through a straw in and out <laughs> just to help with that calming effect. Yes. Um, but what I, what I actually do is I do a Tony Robbins uh, technique when yep. I go for a walk. Have you heard of his changing his state with his fingers? No. Oh, okay. So I'd love to share this tip with you. So you breathe in for four. And use your foot, your fingers to guide you, and then you breathe out for four. But that's through the mouth. So in through the nose, and you do that as I'm walking. Yes. And that would change your state. It also gets the blood pumping and the breathing as well. And then you can add affirmations to it as well. So once wow. you've done that, every day and every way, blah 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 blah, whatever your affirmation would be. Yes. Um, and so I use that one. And that's something we can all do at home. You know, if you can feel yourself, Ooh, you know, we can do that breathing technique. And I've even got one that I do with the children. So yeah. I get them to breathe in and out. Breathe ah. in, breathe out, breathe. And they use that, especially on the Zoom calls, just yes. to really focus them, bring them to present moment yeah. and use that to, to guide them. Oh, yeah. Because sometimes they can go all over the, you know, too much energy, pent up energy. Too much energy. <laughs> and yeah. And they're so excited to see their friends because, you know, they haven't seen them for a long time. But yes. on Zoom calls, they're here. So it's just a 